Here to talk more about this, Charles Marino, a former senior advisor for the Department of Homeland Security and author of Terrorists on the Border and in the Country. Chuck, good morning to you as always. So the request is $19.4 million mm -hmm. in security to deal with, quote, evolving risks. How do you interpret that evolving risk? Well, I think the uh, the program here and the request for funds that we're seeing shows that there's a formalizing of this program for the long term, and that is the threats aren't going away. Uh, if we remember in 2022, after the leaked uh, draft opinion in Roe v. Wade, the threat spiked significantly. The U.S. Department of Justice had to quickly throw together the U.S. Marshals to enhance security for the Supreme Court justices. And Joe Biden quickly signed a bill to permanently expand uh, the protection to their residences, the justices, and their families. So this protection isn't going anywhere. We see now the Supreme Court police absorbing 33 new positions, which this funding will be used for to protect the residences of the justices 24 hours a day. And the marshals will continue to protect the Supreme Court justices as they travel and go to and from work. You mentioned the change following Roe v. Wade. The high court also taking up several politically charged cases in this presidential election. We just had the ballot case, and now the presidential immunity argument is on the table. How much does that play into the high court's safety? Well, it plays into the overall threat assessment, because what it means is that officials do not think uh, that is going to change in the sense that the Supreme Court will be villainized uh, by both sides, by the way, Republicans and Democrats, as they see politically fit. That was not always the case, but is the case as of late. And they see more decisions, more politically charged decisions landing on the court's desk. So I think it's the right step to formalize the program. We'll start to see line item budgets now with both the Supreme Court and the Department of Justice with respect to the overall safety and security of the Supreme Court justices. And this will not be cheap. Uh, personal protection, residential security is very expensive, and the taxpayers will foot that bill. Right. And 24 hours, how far does it extend? I mean, when you talk about their families, different locations, travel, and pretty tough to scale that back once it's in place, I would imagine. Yeah, that's it. Where it is, uh, is where it typically stays. Uh, it can go down. It can be enhanced based on specific intelligence. Protective intelligence plays a key role in, in how these individuals and their families are protected. But it will be protection at all times, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This, uh, this program is being formalized to stay. Yeah, and at all costs. Uh, Chuck Marino, uh, it's an important job. Uh, thank you for your time as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.